Namaskar student. Welcome to online practical class. Hope all of you are fine. Today I am going to discuss uh, October November 2018 question paper. Why I choose this question? This question have some new thing. Uh, so you have to know that one. That's why I choose this question. Uh, please um, make a duplicate copy in your desktop like me. So this is the question paper. Uh, we are going to discuss the database part. So database part is belongs to the middle of the question. So this is your task three that is database. So what they are asking to do, you are going to prepare uh, some report using related table in database. Make sure all colors and value displays in some currency symbol of your choice and are set to zero decimal place. So all currency, uh, uh, all currency value you can mention as a currency and decimal place should be zero. Okay, there, that means after decimal point, there will be no value. Data uh, to be displayed in the format DD3M2Y. So you have to check this part. In the question paper, examiner is asking that your date format should be 2D, 3M, 2Y. That means first 2D date, uh, 2D means date will come in number and 3M come, 3M means month will come in short form like June, J U N E June. Okay, J U N like J U N and year will be like two digit number okay first you have to change your system date like this so how to do that you have to go to control panel you have to go to control panel in windows 10 also and windows uh, 7 also same thing control panel and from control panel you have to go to uh, region then additional setting then date click on date it should be like this the short date should be dd hyphen 3m hyphen 2y so it's format like your question paper right so this is the format right you can give 3m also no problem you can do any way you can make 3 capital m also okay okay now apply and then press OK. Apply. OK. So now you can check your system deck like my system deck is like this. Now first question, import the file and 218 customer.csb into suitable database package. Use uh, this field name and data types. OK. First you have to open Microsoft Access 2000. Uh, you have to open Microsoft Access 2010. So write down access 2010. This is your Microsoft Access 2010. When you open this one, you will see some option is given. So first you will uh, save your file. Then uh, how you will save your file database? You have to mention the location. Then it will be easy for you from uh, where you save your file, right? So if electricity goes off or your computer shut down suddenly, suddenly your computer shut down, that time you can uh, rec uh, recall your data okay so first mention your from here see my cursor pointer from here you have to mention uh, your location where you are going to save your database it should be in the same folder then it will be easy for you desktop october november 2018 oct 2018 inside 21 uh, inside 02 just suppose my database name is my name you can give any name there's not any rules is there so after that uh, no rules is there for uh, making database name so uh, after that you have to click create folder okay now you see that computer will automatically create one table this table is not needed so you'll close this table now external data you have to input the file according to the question paper what is the name of the file uh, n218customers.csv okay external data then text file browse it is in the desktop my file belongs to desktop so we have to go to desktop october number 2018 inside 02 uh, so what was the file name customers.csv so this is the customers.csv okay and make sure that it is already selected uh, it should be selected delimited so data should be separated by commas okay so click next then for separating the field name and values you have to click here first row called field name please check that when you click this one there is a, some line barrier between field name and data click next then click advance you have to change the data type now check the data type what are the data type they are asking for all this text only mem date will be date time okay so 
check all his text only meme did is already there but make sure one thing it should be dmy first day will come month will come then year will come if it is mdy you have to change it from here dmy otherwise you will get import error okay it should be dmy because in the question paper the format is like dd mm yy that means dmy right okay after that press okay click next then uh, you have to choose your primary key according to the question paper which one will be the primary key customer number cust now that means customer number so choose my primary key you can choose it from here customer now click next finish after that you will see that your table is imported you have to open this table into design view and you will see that <coughs> mem, uh, you have to change here one thing that is the date format so mem date click on date and time and the format should be see medium date say it's like look like this 19 june 2007 uh, okay check in the question paper in the question paper they mentioned here date format will be like this and it should be 19 june 2007 so you can choose uh, you, you have to choose this one like medium date is look like this medium date or short date better to use medium date okay now control s control w save and exit control s means save control w means exit now next question evidence for take the screenshot evidence on showing the field name and data types that means how to take the evidence you have to open this file into design view you have to take see my cursor pointer you have to take this screenshot only only this part and try to keep your cursor pointer over that field which one you change like this one date and time so you can show to the examiner um, that you change some format of the date according to the question paper right this is very important when you are going to take the screenshot of any table in design view you will keep your cursor pointer over that field which field you change maybe you change two or three field you can uh, select your cursor pointer in any field and then take the screenshot and the screenshot should be the upper part also and down part also some student from different school they used to take half of the screen that is not correct okay if examiner wants they can cut mark so you have to take this part upper part also down part also no need to take right side no need to take left side even the upper side also top side also even not the bottom side also only this part only this part see my cursor pointer is moving like this way okay now control s control w after taking the screenshot you can take the screenshot by pressing print screen button or snipping tool okay now next question let's go for the next question Import the file uh, n218orders.csv as a new table in your database. Make sure uh, the order value is formatted as currency. Okay, now you have to import another file, text file, orders, browse, orders.csv, this one. Okay, same process, first row content field name, next. Here they did not ask to change all the data types, only they ask one thing. Uh, that is make sure they mention one thing make sure order value is formatted as currency okay order value so order value here it is given double so you have to make it currency and it should be two decimal uh, zero decimal place because at the beginning of the question paper they mention long uh, look uh, mention like that okay so after that you have to press ok then click next which one is primary key they are asking for they are asking for order id field is primary key so you have to click here it should be order id click next N finish now order value change so what you have to do here design view op to open this order table in design view and this currency format should be it should be currency according to the question paper and in the beginning of the question they mention any currency value should be zero decimal place and currency right you just put zero decimal place currency zero decimal place that's all and if they are asking for a screenshot of this one maybe next evidence they are asking for this one exactly evidence 5 place in your evidence document screenshot showing the uh, type of the relationship oh sorry not this not this one they are asking for relationship okay so that is different thing now control s control w that means save and exit now next question check the next question uh, create one to many relationship between customer number in the customer table and customer uh, id uh, field in the order table now for relationship you have to go database tools relationship select both the table click add close okay now 
what are the field they are asking for always keep in your mind when you are going to make a relationship you have to connect from primary key to foreign key so what is primary key you can mention that you can check that one you, uh, some key is given be, uh, before field name that is called primary key okay and in the question paper what they are asking uh, create a one to many relationship between customer cust now in the customer table so cust now in the customer table this one should be related with customer id so this one and this one okay so drag it and put it over cust id okay after uh, after when you drag it then this dialog box will come first you try to create enforce referential indicator if it is not working does not matter no need to click here but first check whether it is working or not click here and then create okay it is working if it is not working without that one also you can create relationship without selecting this one you just click create okay right okay now come to the point evidence document when they are asking for evidence document evidence 5 place in your evidence document screenshot showing the uh, type of the relationship between two table that time you have to take both the pictures this one this picture and how to bring the previous picture like right click over this line and select edit relationship so keep your pic uh, like picture like this way and take the screenshot okay this screenshot is needed for your evidence and make sure that that screenshot is fully visible otherwise you will not get the mark right then press ok ctrl s ctrl w 7 exit done your relationship also uh, finished right right now next point create a columnar data entry form which will include all the fields from the order table okay uh, this field heading must be uh, aligned to the left of the position under each other okay you have to create a data entry form uh, data from which will include all the fields from the order table so with the help of order table you have to create a data entry form and you have to make sure that the heading must be aligned to the left position under each other okay make all make sure all the fields are data fully visible and the layout is consistent enter an appropriate title at the top of the form okay now what you will do you have to create a form using which, uh, which table order table so create form wizard where is form wizard this one is a form wizard okay it's very easy just you have to select the order table it is already selected if it is not selected you can select order table from here and transfer all the field right side and then next columnar data entry form this is called columnar click next always you choose the first one next and then finish <coughs> Now in the question paper, they, they, uh, they, they was asking that um, they were asking that what the mix, uh, the field heading must be aligned to the left position and under each other. So see each and field heading is all already in the left position and under each other. So no problem. It's okay. Now next, enter appropriate enter appropriate title at the top of the form. So this is your title N two one eight orders. Okay so here the title is not clear so you have to give appropriate type title so how you will understand what type of appropriate title is you have to give see customer id order id field name is customer id order id order year so it's something like order information so you can give order information that heading so if you want to change your heading what you have to do you have to open your form in design view okay and here write down order information order order information you can make this one little bit big so these two things should be one line you can make that one little bit small that box is too much big you can keep it little bit up like this by dragging and make this one small also okay Okay, now keep some space here now next question what they are asking for this is done use the form created in SF24 enter the following details as a new order now question is that when they are asking to input some new data that time what you have to do you have to create a common button in the form so how to make a common button it should be open in design view then you have to select this one this cross 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 this one this button is called common button put the common button here 
then automatically one dialog box will come i i ask you that if they ask you this type of question add some record you have to take you have to create one add record button so where is my add record button record operation if you click here then add new record one button is there did you see that okay now click next after that this button is look like a picture so picture is not understandable right so you have to select text it should be some text then click next click finish okay so your add record button is over now you have to open this one in form view because you are going to input some data right so in design view you cannot input data you can just design your form in the design view so form view is for inputting data now first before inputting data check how many data you have see the bottom part of this form it is written my see my cursor pointer one of 200 now if you click add record it will come 201 select add record then 201 did you see that now you input your data from the question paper so first customer id will be like this okay then next one order id this one then 2017 2017 uh, then 4210 4 2 1 and 0 and this one will be last data is 160 160 now check next question what they are asking to do check your data entry for errors make sure all the data is fully visible uh, save your data now <clears throat> some student what they do see in this question paper all data given in uh, capital letter like t h m some students sometimes they use small letter so that is not acceptable okay so that's why they are asking for this one also mark is there see two marks uh, check your data entry for errors make sure all the data is fully visible uh, just check whether the data is perfectly inputted or not okay now next uh, evidence six place in your evidence document a screenshot showing the data uh, of your data in your form now you have to take this screenshot with the same data after taking the screenshot what you will do you will press ctrl s otherwise this data will not save ctrl s ctrl w save and exit done now next question okay question number 26 tax of 20 percent is to be added for each order value this is nothing just the examiner try to make you confused okay so this is nothing but for making you confused okay so using fill from both the table Bo both the table produce a report which contain a new field called gross value which calculated runtime uh, uh, which calculated runtime and displayed as currency okay and displayed as currency this will calculate order value plus 20 percent of order value so what does 20 percent means 20 percent means 20 by 100 right in other words you can say 0 0.2 right so show only the reports uh, records where order value order year is 2007 this is for criteria and okay when uh, first point you have to remember always before making report you have to make a query and in the question paper you will see one line is common show only the fields you will see this line you will see this line here show only the fields okay show only the fields so only the fills uh, customer number title so you have to start your work from when you are going to create some query you have to start from this line maybe this line position is third position of this question or maybe first position of this question. maximum times this line position will be third position of this question just keep in your mind uh, before making any uh, report we have to keep uh, we have to make one query and we have to start our query from this line where it is written show only the fills right so we have to make a query so create query wizard query wizard is the easiest way you can create query in design view also but wizard is the easiest way now simple query wizard now what are the field you have to take check the question paper customer number title first name last name so customer number customer this is order this is customer customer number cast number type then title first name last name order id title first name last name order id from order table 
order id then order value browse value and pay type order value gross value we have to create because in the question paper second first question they asked to make a uh, gross value like this okay so uh, they asked to create a gross value so gross value i will not get it now and the pay type so you have to take pay type pay type pay type i will transfer all the field right side okay up to this field i took only one field i have to create that is gross value now click next next finish this is my query we uh, we got how many record uh, we got 201 record right now open this one into design view for writing uh, for creating one new field even the for mentioning the criteria so here i have to create one new field what is that gross value so first you have to write down field name g r o double s gross underscore value you have to write the field name according to the question paper the spelling should be according to the question paper even the capital letter small letter that's why i'm asking after writing the field name you have to give clone sign because you cannot you cannot mention equal sign here you have to give clone sign and if you want to uh, write some formula definitely we are going to write some formula for creating new field after um, for creating new field because they're asking you have to do some calculation right in the formula if you try to use any field name that field name should be under square bracket okay so what are the thing they are asking for in the uh, field name new field name uh, which is calculated runtime and displayed as currency this field is calculated order value plus 20 percent of order value so first i have to give space then square bracket order order underscore value close the square bracket so the spelling should be like this this one order value right close the square bracket plus 20 percent you can write 20 by 100 or you can write 0.2 that is called 20 percent of order value of means multiplication so give multiplication sign right and then square bracket order again order underscore value close the square bracket <clears throat> okay now if you click outside if you see this one is ticked and check whether it is working or not yes it is working but one thing is not visible here the format should be currency and zero decimal place so what you will do first you run one time check whether it is working or not after that you change don't try to change at the beginning that time you will not get the dialog box like this okay the format should be it should be currency right and decimal place will be zero now check close this part right click you know where you have to go right click properties and here you have to change format currency and decimal place is zero because in the question paper they're asking that one for after checking if you run you will see the currency symbol came by uh, automatically that is pound and <clears throat> also uh, that zero decimal place came right so now next question we have to go for the next question so next question means the second part of this question show only the record where order year is 2017 order year now order year is taken or not check order year is not taken did you see that we did not take order year because we took all the field from this question third question third part of this question okay so order year is not taken so what i will do in that case i'll keep my cursor point in the third uh, in the last column and order year belongs to where i have to check that one order year this uh, this field is belongs to order table so double click order year automatically order year will come so order year now another thing i have to check order year how the order year is given open the order year table so order year check order year where it is written order value order year it is given only year clear so we can write down so what I, what criteria i have to write uh, check the question paper um, order year is 2017 so you have to write down uh, in the row of criteria in the row of criteria under the order year value 2017 right now next part next criteria now you can check after writing one criteria you just check whether it is working properly or not 
control S, control W, and double click over the query and see order year all 2017. Right? Open this one into design view again. And after that, what criteria you have to write? Mm, a pay type contain card. See, here it is written contain. If it is a contain, if it is written belongs to, if it is written include, that time you have to understand card is the not the single word. With card, some other thing is given, right? So, what you will do in this case, order uh, what is that? Pay type contain card, pay type, pay type under con, uh, pay type, you have to write down double star card double star why i wrote double star because they mentioned that it contain card so you have to understand that uh, card is included with other word also right now if you run it you will check that pay type credit card debit card everything is uh, everywhere card is given pay card or card is given right so nothing not a single word is available now here without card okay so uh, as card is belongs to some other words that's why we have to give double star now some student is asking sir the like came oh, I, I will type the like no if you type double star card double star it will like will come automatically don't think about that one right so your rules is that if it is written contain include that time you have to write double star right now order value is 90 or more order value order value is greater than equal to 90 done control now check run how many uh, record is coming uh, now we are getting 28 records right now check this one <coughs> 28 records done control s control w your query part is over now with the help of this query you have to create report and this report should contain these fields only see we took some extra field right order value or order year order year we took so how to omit that one very easy way just you have to create the uh, report using report wizard so through which one you have to create the report here don't do any mistake with the help of query table and according to the question paper what are the field you have to take you have to take those fields serially customer nom title first name last name order id okay so first customer nom title first name last name order id order value order id order value gross value and pay tie gross value you have to take first gross value and then pay die see now serial is okay right this field is not needed because they did not ask for this field so click next and he here you see your field name coming in two different way don't take why mistakenly also don't take like this way so you will select the other one where all the fields together okay now click next next uh, is they're asking for any ascending descending check this one sort the data descending order of pay type and ascending order of order value descending order of pay type so click here pay type it should be descending and order value i think mm, pay type and the ascending order of order order value so order value should be ascending right click next uh, it should be landscape or protect definitely a landscape has orientation of landscape yes landscape we have to click landscape next yes everything okay now finish now this is your report now, right now what you have to do you have to arrange it properly because some field is not visible properly right so open this report in layout view right now select the first field name press control button select the value make it small little bit so you can arrange all the value properly all the field name properly so now this order value field is visible right okay cast norm like this way title first name last name order id gross value Yeah, done. Now, 
next question uh, we arrange it properly so all the data is visible right okay so you have to arrange this field name in layout view keep it in mind if you want to edit your report then you have to open your report in layout view now next question what they are asking to do include uh, fit on a single page why this is a single include all the heading uh, uh, all the heading uh, card payment uh, include include the heading card payments of 2017 so how to write down the heading so just copy this one or you have to type it card payment card you have to type this one card payments in 2017 so how to do that open this one into design view like form so here you have to write card payments payments in 2017 in 2017 right written now next part Calculate the average order value and place uh, place the number below the order value column. Okay. Now you have to open this one into layout view. Now calculate the average order value. So order value is this one. You have to find out the average of order value. Don't select the field name. Just select the value. Go to total and select average. Right. When you click average, automatically you will see that average will come. One, one, four. Right. Now next part, what they are asking for uh, is already under the order value column. Display this average value as currency. It is already displayed as currency. See, some currency symbol is given. Uh, currency has a label average order value to the left of this value. Okay, average order value. You have to type this word. You have to type this word uh, before this one. Left, left of this value. Average order value. So. Uh, how to do that you have to open this one into design view again and this is your formula uh, let's make it big so it should be visible so before this one you have to draw on label box because you are going to type some text so what you have to type uh, average order value so write down average uh, average order spelling o small letter order value okay done now make it a little bit right side yeah this one should be a little bit right okay now open this one into layout view again for checking whether it is correct or not yes average order value but it should be under order value right so in that case what i will do i have to make uh, edit it again design view it should be a little bit left side and it should be small it should be more left okay now check it in layout view yes almost okay correct no problem now next one has your name center number candidate number on every page of the report so if they are asking on every page of the report that means it should be in every page so open this one into design view again uh, always you will try to write your name center number candidate number in the page footer what is the reason if you write in the report footer that time uh, it will visible only last page if your report belongs to two page three page it will come in the last page so it should be every page your name center number candidate number otherwise you will not examiner will not give you mark they will cut your full mark because your name is not there center number is not there they will think this is done by some other student okay now take the label box and delete this uh, by default that two box i do i just deleted two box right one is now for the date and another one is page number so this this thing actually is not needed so you have to select this box uh, and delete it but while you are deleting don't delete inside written part then you will be in trouble so uh, delete uh, draw one level box because we are going to write our name center number candidate number so i'm writing my name if you are a boy that time you have to write down sa 139 our center number is sa 139 and candidate number 1234 right okay now open this one into layout view for checking 
it will be like this right done our report is over now go for the next question print out to save and print out to make sure that all your that's able to print evidence place in evidence document screenshot showing the formula used in the uh, use to calculate the average order value see what we did um, we find out some average order value right what was the formula you have to open this one into design view and for this evidence just you have to take you have to keep your uh, formula a little bit right side and you have to take this screenshot and it should be visible properly this value this formula you have to take this screenshot okay they are asking only this part the report footer part the screenshot whether the formula is correct or not uh, so you learn how to how to write formula easily like by clicking that one so no need to memorize the formula just you have to take the screenshot of this one that's all okay evidence uh, 7 is over export the report this is a totally new thing export the re reports created in step 26 as a text file uh, for use in another application save this exported uh, file in your work area now you have to export this report as a text file so how to do that it's very easy it's very easy just you have to open this one oh, before opening just keep this one properly it was like this okay open this uh, into layout view and save it control s uh, okay this one is again it's move we have to open this one into layout uh, design view again you have to keep this is after taking the screenshot you can do that that is not a problem now open this one into layout view yeah it's perfect right now you have to input this one into um, what um, <coughs> export export sorry export this report to get in step 26 as a text file okay you have to export to, as a text file so how to do that right click over this report then you'll see export option text file mean microsoft word rtf click here and don't forget to click here otherwise you cannot see your file open the uh, destination file after export operation is complete and then press ok now you will see microsoft word is opening and your report is visible there right this is your report check each and every page your name came even uh, the total value came the last page right uh, total order value 114 ok now next part of this question what they are asking place in your evidence document screenshot show uh, show the exported file saved now that means you have to save it as a word document so file save as in the uh, in the desktop 02 you have to write down exported ex exported report and it should be word document okay and click save now minimize this one close this minimize this thing if you go to your folder 02 you will see this one is given and it should be visible properly that file type file type should be visible properly date modification is not needed so how to do that how to remove this one right click here date click uh, date modification is not needed now you have to take this screenshot by uh, blocking this one you have to take this screenshot this is the evidence that you saved the export, exported report right done this part is over <clears throat> now next question this is question number 28 and uh, it will be uh, it will be the last question of database creating level this type of level uh, never comes earlier so this is a new thing of this level and one critical thing is given here you have to understand properly please listen very carefully then it will be easy for you now i told you earlier also before making a report before making level you have to make a query for this level also you have to create query first right so how to uh, do that and what are the field I have to keep? I have to check what are the field they are asking. They are asking this type of fields. This fields title, first name, last name, address one, town, postcode, mem date, and team. Okay. 
and this is the right uh, criteria for right uh, for creating your query first make the query with the help of these fields okay another query so save it control s control w this one create query wizard same process and don't take any simple query wizard don't take any field from the previous query you have to take the field only these two table main table right so what are the field i have to take you have will check that one for title first name last name at this one so title this is the main table title first name uh, last name at this one then postcode mem date tin postcode mem date tin is belongs to other table tin right okay now these are the field i have to take click next after that click next and then finish your query is over now query one this name is query one design view open this one into design view because you need to write some criteria right according to the question paper uh, what are the criteria you have to write first criteria see uh, contain only those record where the membership type is adult or family so membership type is adult or family mem type so mem type is not taken did you see that mem type type is not taken so what i will do i'll double click mem type here i'll check where it is my, where is my mem type like previous query we have to just double click mem type mem type will come here and it should be adult uh, it should be adult or uh, what they are asking for adult or family right so we have to write in the criteria part in the row of criteria under the mem type adult or family right now run it and check it whether it is working or not see mem type is or adult family adult family not other thing is coming right now design view now next one next criteria um, membership date is before 2015 this is the main point of this question paper lot of student made um, did mistake here if you see any criteria is given like a uh, combination of some year some date you will you will first you will check the main table how the date is represented okay so here they mention membership date is before 2015 now membership date is belongs to his table membership date member mem date it is belongs to customer table check the customer table mem date see it is combination of day month and year but in the question paper for making you confused they mention only year you have to be very careful about this matter okay so in that case what you will do you have to write down the criteria in that way which way they gave in the data file so what the, what is the criteria membership date is before 2005 so mem date should be before 2015 mem date should be before 2015 mem date the membership date is before 2015 so how to write we cannot write down less than 2015 we cannot write because in the uh, data file in the customer table the date is given with month also day also so if you want to write before 2015 so that is what is the first date of 2015 first january so less than first january 2015 any date before 2015 like this way you have to write down the criteria now check the date now now if you run it control s control w and open this query again and mem date see every date is before 2015 did you see that okay open this one into design view again okay now next criteria what is the next criteria three or more tin in gods okay three or more tin so where is the tin field three or more so uh, greater than equal to three you have to write greater than equal to three right now next question any criteria any more criteria no okay now check how many data is coming seven data is coming do you remember that when we did in the, in the zoom class we got six record what what was the reason because in that zoom class when i did this one that time i did not input one data in the question paper they they was asking add one data right i did not add after making relationship i did not add this data so that's why it was 6 so both are correct 6 and 7 so if you input the data 
that time it will be 7 if you don't input the data uh, it was uh, it should be uh, 6 okay now question is that why 6 came because we did this question paper in two different days first day we did the report second day we did the level and when we create the level that time we did not input the data right so that doesn't matter so if you see this video this this one will be okay for you both the thing is given together now let's see uh, what they are asking for next part okay now our query is over right but uh, yeah query is over now control s control w done so now we have to create level so we have to create level from where which query query one so it is it is um, listen very carefully that in the level time you cannot choose the table right so what you will do you have to keep your cursor pointer over that table through which one you are going to make the level so my my query is query one for our level right so i'll keep my cursor pointer over query one if you keep your cursor pointer other uh, other table or other query that time computer will take the data from that query only so it should be your main query so there is query one so create level okay before that check this question what they are asking uh, to do in the level part okay use this uh, selection procedure uh, the level with arrange into two column in the level there will be two column and four rows with eight levels eight levels means if each and every page if your total number of data is more than eight each and every page there should not be more than eight level but our total number of data we got seven right so only seven data level will be there in one page because we don't have more level right but it should be two column okay and four rows it should be two column and four rows and the measurement this one never gives in the question paper each level size is 6.7 mm millimeter height and 99.0 millimeter wide or uh, 6.7 centimeter this is height first value is always height and second value is uh, wide okay now what i have to do we have to create level keep your cursor pointer over this one over that query create level then what you have to do customize because you have to choose the measurement new now this is the measurement centimeter centimeter so we have to give centimeter so see the question paper um, 6.6 .6 centimeter is height and 9.90 .9 centimeter width so this is called height 6 point so you have to mention here what is that <coughs> 6 point uh, 67 uh, sorry 6 point 77 centimeter 6 point 77 centimeter why i'm writing this value because it is written in centimeter only this is height right and this is width and what is the width 9.90 so it should be 9.90 width right and it should be number of uh, across that means how many column will be there two you have to mention two please listen very carefully here you have to mention the column also then press ok and then press yes again ok now see that measurement came here then uh, <coughs> close this one this measurement will be here according to the question paper click next uh, click next now read the question again what they are asking to do if you uh, go just little bit down of the question paper you have to take those these fields right and include a center align heading uh, in a large form size and bold at the top of each uh, level so what what will be the what will be the heading this one vip innovation right you have to type here vip innovation we will do bold later on okay and after that press enter now what are the fields you have to take that way you have to take all the fields title first name last name first it will be title give a space first name space last name enter in the same line right now next part is town postcode mem date so this one will be Uh, we uh, did I take town uh, let's see the question paper town postcode okay 
town is not here so what uh, i did not take the town oh i did not take the town field right so open this one in design view and take town field also yes now control s control w now open uh, select this query one create level so this measurement is came here now click next next and here it should be the heading so what will be the heading bib innovation and this one will be the heading then press enter then title space first name space last name press enter then go for the town uh, check the town postcode so you have to take town space postcode uh, transfer this postcode uh, then mem date in the next line mem date it should be next line then last one will be tin so this one will be tin right only these fields okay now see the next question what they are asking have your name center number and candidate number at the bottom of each level so after this one what you have to do you have to press enter and you have to write down your name center number sa139 and candidate number 1234 did you see that we missed one field so we took another uh, that field again so that is not a problem right it can happen now click next after writing everything here click next and then no sorting they did not ask for any sorting next and finish okay now you see in one page seven record is there and four column this is one column the uh, four row oh, this is one row two row third row and fourth row but one thing is missing here so your uh, heading should be uh, what, what they are asking center align right uh, this one include the center uh, uh, center align heading in a large font size and bold at the top of each level okay now open this one into design view right now select this fill it should be bold it should be bold make it 10 and it should be center align like this right now open this one into print preview always open this thing in preview okay now it will be look like this okay this is your level they are asking level like this way and check under each and every level your name center number and candidate number is there right done you have to do like this way and you have to just print and when you want to view your level you have to open this one into print preview right okay now any more question is left no more i don't think that any question is left now yes done print out just you have to print out that's all for your database thank you all